One, two, three. Ooh. All right. I'm back. It's been some time. I think it's been about 14 months. August 2018 was my last video. Since then, I've been married. Look, here's a photo. Oh, look at that. I got married. Ah, oh, I got married in May, if you didn't know that. But I got another video, and we're going to jump straight into it. So over Christmas, me and my wife, Catherine, we went to Melbourne. Uh, it's our first Christmas together married, so we thought we'd spend it by ourselves. And while there, I thought I'd do a lot of street photography. I love Melbourne, I love the building, the architecture, the graffiti, the culture, I love everything there, and I just wanted to capture it all. Now, while we're in Melbourne, I bought two new lenses. I bought the, uh, the 50 to 230 Fujifilm, and I also bought a uh, 27 Prime Fujifilm, which is a little small fella. It's very, very small, and if you take off that little case there in that front part, it's a very, very, very small lens. And another thing since my last video is I've actually changed what camera I'm using. I'm now using a Fujifilm X-T3, which if you don't know what that camera is, it's this sort of fella there. Catching that on my uh, GoPro Hero 8, which I got also as a um, Christmas present. So what I thought we'd do is I'd strap the GoPro to my head and we'd walk around Melbourne at night time. I'll take some street shots uh, and I'll show you guys up on the screen and I'll show you a little bit uh, about why I took each photo and if, if I like it, if I don't like it, blah, blah, blah. So let's go straight into it. So we uh, start the action crossing the road, and as I turn my head here, I see this uh, tall building with the blue sky behind it, and I thought it looked alright, so I snapped a quick shot. Not all my pictures are great, and so I believe that uh, if I get rid of all the crappy ones first, then the rest of them would be good. There's a light projection that Melbourne had on for Christmas. Uh, we're just having to catch the end of it there. Ooh, confetti blow. Oh, lovely. Now, as we continue down the street, I saw this neon sign saying Father's Office, and I thought maybe there's a photo here, but I didn't really like it, not much going on in it, but I thought I'd put it in there as another example of uh, not every photo is good. Now on the left, there's another light display there. Now coming up, you'll see a Christmas tree on the left over there. The night earlier, I got this photo of this boy taking a photo of the Christmas tree, and I just thought it was all right. Here we've got Flinders Street Station. Took a couple of photos, but nothing was uh, too fancy about it. Nothing you've never seen before. Now at the bottom, there's this uh, this hattery. You see it there with the red neon lights. And I didn't realise on this night, but there, there's no hats in the window. But the night earlier, I'd taken a photo, and so here's a photo from there. And you can see the hats in the window. It actually makes it a little bit better. I got Catherine to pose, but again, there's no hats in the window. The night earlier, when I took the photo, there was like hats in the reflection. If we just have a look here. It's an okay photo, but there's not, really, not a whole lot going on. And here I realise that there's no hats. And uh, have a quick laugh, but here's the photo from the night earlier. The hats, I think, just add to the photo a little bit. Uh, now I've got Catherine to stand against the rail. And I quickly noticed that she instantly did like this new model pose and she's really sticking her butt out. But here's a photo anyway. Uh, and I think it looks alright. Maybe the red's a little bit too harsh on her face. But I say to her that I think that she's sticking her butt out and uh, she knows it. I don't know, but you're sticking your butt out. I know what I've got. <laughs> but we continue around the corner uh, and there's this donut shop there called uh, Donut Time, I believe. Yeah. It has like these sort of neon light feels about it uh, and there's this couple standing in front of it and I got this photo of them standing in front which I really quite liked. It was very minimal, not a whole lot's going on but I kind of wanted to get a photo of just one person in the doorway which I couldn't get apparently at this time of the night a lot of people come in front of it. Here you can see I'm looking around to uh, try and find something else and I noticed that there's another neon sign with this building here so I take this shot uh, again, it's nothing that's too crazy. It looks okay, it has some nice tones. But then I noticed that there's this other shop here, this uh, gelato shop. And so I jump across the road and I frame up and I'm waiting for the right moment. Just moving my focus point there. Just having to take the photo right as uh, one of the servers is holding an ice cream and they're putting the scoops in the, uh, in the ice cream cone to gelato. And I just feel like that really captured the photo. If I'd got a different moment, it wouldn't have been as good. So I head back over because I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a photo of the, um, just showing Catherine there, the photo. Of that, uh, oh yeah, here we go, one person in the doorway. So I get one, and I instantly walk away without looking at it. 
So it's all right, it's not my favorite, but it's okay. I think I prefer the one with the two people. So I tried to catch a reflection and um, I asked Catherine if she could go walk over. Just, I feel like it's just missing one thing. So I get her to walk over just so we have a little bit of like a silhouette sort of shape. I don't know if it makes it better or not, but I think it's something interesting. This is a pretty popular alleyway here. Um, a lot of cafes and stuff, a couple of different shops that a lot of people would like to get photos of. Um, I just get Catherine to walk down the middle and I do this uh, this long crop, uh, as you see here. Sometimes a crop makes a photo a little bit more interesting, sometimes it saves a photo. Here I got Catherine taking a under these yellow lights, I thought it might look okay with her on her phone. I'm trying to get some reflections or something, I'm just trying to make the shot a little bit more interesting. This is alright, this shot here. Here we go. This one here I think is, it's okay. It's okay, you've got a little bit of reflection and you've got those uh, rainbow lights in the background which I think are alright. And we went down this dark alleyway because I saw this yellow light at the end, the end and I thought that was pretty cool. Now here, I'm telling Catherine just to wait there. I'm just going to check around the corner, make sure there's no one weird around there. Just because safety is number one. Now here, I'm uh, first getting my light settings right. Making sure i got the right amount of silhouette and the right amount of detail I want to capture. And then I'm trying to uh, guide Catherine to where I want her to be. Kind of want her to be in that little bar of light. And then I realise it. She just leans against the uh, pillar, that'd be exactly where I wanted to be. Huh? And uh, I take a couple of shots and then I realise my composition isn't right. There, there's one, there's two. So I move the camera to the left because I wanted to be a bit on the side. That's kind of cool, I like that. Pretty happy with that one, I like the sort of mysterious of it. Right, yeah, you. you can tell I'm pretty happy. So we continued walking along uh, and we almost got killed by this guy on the, the scooter. What? Came up to this Chinatown area, I saw the, um, the Chinatown, uh, I don't know, the gates? Is that what they call them, the gates or the archways? I just sort of take this photo, got a couple of different aspects in there that I kind of liked. And we walked up here and I spot this, um, there's this Chinese restaurant on the left, but I spot this car park over on the right across the road. And I've seen this photo before uh, with people walking in front of it and it's kind of silhouetted a little bit, sort of like these interesting sort of shots. I thought I'd try to recreate it. There's so many cars coming. I couldn't really get it right. Here's a, here's a photo here. So I think there's some interesting stuff maybe. There's definitely potential there. But I spin around because I see this Chinese restaurant, but nothing, I just couldn't quite get it that I was happy with. So I moved next door to this other Chinese restaurant because it has these chickens in the window and there's this gap between them. And I thought if I could get the, uh, the cook's face between the gap, uh, it'd be all right. But he never went between the gap. Uh, for so long and so eventually what I had to do is I had to move myself instead of trying to get him to move and I went right up to the window I got a photo he's out of focus it's actually focused on the reflection across the road but I think there's uh, enough interest in it. I think the blurriness actually adds to it so that was the last photo of the night to finish off the night we went and got some Milo scoop shakes uh, just those two please I think this must have been Christmas Eve but anyway we went home and that's it if I had to pick my favourite photo of the night, I'd probably pick two. I'd probably pick the one with the couple in front of the donut shop and the one of uh, Catherine's silhouette down the dark alley. I, um, I love dark contrast uh, with like a little bit of detail and the neon lights in the donut one look real cool and I like the outline of Catherine and the, and the roller door and the grittiness and like the urbanness of it. Um, just something that stands out for me. I really like that one. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. It's completely different to what I've ever done. I really liked making it. Uh, I might do something else like this again in the future. Give me some constructive feedback. I really like feedback. If you want more details about the actual photographs themselves, if you need less photos to have more time talking about it, or if you just want to see photo after photo after photo, uh, yeah, let me know. But other than that, thanks very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you within the next 14 months.